Hi my beautiful Libras and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your weekly tarot reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for those of you guys who um, would like to follow me on Instagram, the link will be in the description box below. Those of you guys who are not subscribed, feel free to subscribe, like, share, that is always appreciated. And anybody who's interested in a personal reading, the information for that will be in the description box below. You can check out my website and book a reading with me there. I also offer questions for those of you that are interested. All right, so, um, oh, and I also opened um, emergency readings because you guys, there were so many of you guys, so I decided that I would do the emergency ones for those of you that just wanted to get a quick reading in. Um, so I have um, actually um, offered, or I am offering some more services now that I have my website up. So anyways, I'll start off with your tarot and then I will get into your oracle cards. All right, guys, so let's see what can we get for my beautiful Libras. Show me what we need to see. Oh, what are these? Show me what Libras need to see for this week ahead. Wow, beautiful. So many cards. I don't even know what they are, and I'm saying beautiful. Oh, gosh. Let's see. <laughs> Page of Cups, a new opportunity in love, a new message coming in. Somebody who's admiring you. A new start in love uh, with the Fool. Somebody, uh, this could be um, an Aquarius coming in. We have Justice. We have the King of Cups here, Scorpio Energy. Somebody who's holding, who was holding back uh, their emotions for you is now going to express their emotions towards you. Page of Coins, a new opportunity. They could be expressing that they want to finally commit towards you. The Nine of Wands. There could be, there could have been, you know, fear from them within, um, within themselves from the past. They were afraid to commit. They had to get over those fears. Six of Cups, a reconciliation. Somebody coming back into your life. Uh, beautiful energy here, you guys. Eight of Swords. Yeah, there's definitely a fear within this person's mind and that's why they weren't able to open up to you, why they weren't able to really express their love towards you, Ten of Swords. There was some healing that they had to do and they had to overcome in order for them to rise up again and to really express themselves. And I feel like this person is going through that process right now. Emperor, yep, it looks like towards the end of the week, this person is really going to be getting back into their you know their highest selves and the five of coins you could be dealing with in aries as well but i feel like you know you were at a time where you were in the cold with somebody and now this you know because this person had stuff to deal with and it's not to say that you knew what they had to deal with because for some of you i feel like you were left out in the cold completely and you had no idea what was going on you just really thought that this person was ghosting you or avoiding you but i do see this person is coming back wanting to reconcile with you i do see that you guys are you know coming from a time where you feel like you're left out in the cold and you feel like you have no idea what's going on and like you guys are on two different pages to coming into a place where the two of you guys um are going to really get to express your feelings and talk about you know where you guys left off because this person has healed and they feel like they have accomplished what they needed to to be able to focus on love for some of you this person it was career wise they had to get their career in order their finances in order before they could put love on the table um that was just you know a promise that they made to themselves for some of you guys all right so let's clarify the page of cups let's clarify the page of cups for libras All right, I'm going to pull this one because I really feel the Wheel of Fortune definitely changes, huge changes within love. You know, you guys are going to be aligned with your destiny, aligned with fate. You know, fated um, events are going to happen, are going to take place within your love life. There's a message that you've been wanting for a very long time, and now you're finally going to get it. And it's going to bring a lot of joy and abundance into your life. This could happen around the time when uh, Jupiter goes direct. Um, okay, so let's see. Sorry, let's clarify the Fool. Clarify the fool, please. Clarify the fool. All right, the Ace of Swords, a new start because of clarity, you know, victory. There's going to be victory in this new start, victory in this new leap of faith that the two of you guys are going to be taking together. Clarify the King of Cups. Oh, okay. We have the Ace of Wands and Strength. Them having the over the strength to overcome their fear, their fear of needing to be in control, needing to be in control, and having the power by not telling you how they truly feel about you. But there is, you know, definitely a message, a passionate message. This person is about to open up towards you. Clarify justice. All right, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. 
Eight of Swords in reverse. Coming at a time where you feel trapped, where you feel, you know, within. Like, you know, we have the Eight of Swords twice here. So I definitely feel like you guys are coming out of a time where you feel fear. Where you feel like there's lots of fear within your life. Where you're unsure as to what's happening. And I feel like it's because you're finally getting justice. You're finally getting what you deserve. So you get to come out of your... You know, of a time where you're in fear and you get to just enjoy, you know, your reality, enjoy, you know, the physical world with nothing to fear. You're coming out of a time where you feel like there's a lot of things holding you back. So you're not being cautious. You feel, you don't feel the need to be cautious anymore. Clarify the page of coins. So we have the hermit and the empress. Strong, uh, we have Virgo energy, we have Libra energy, we have Leo energy here, Sagittarius, Aquarius, so the Hermit and the Empress, beautiful energy, you guys, so I feel like, you know, you guys are so tired of being cautious and being all within your mind, and you're at the point where you just want to know, so if there's something that you want to know, you're going to find out, you're going to figure it out, no matter how you have to figure it out, you're not going to go within your mind anymore and create fear and create doubt, you're going to go into this energy, you're coming out of that, coming out of that energy because you've done the healing, you've taken the time, or you're going to be taking a lot of time this week to really think and go within, I feel like you're going to become wiser and stronger, and with that knowledge that you will learn, you will, you know, learn something that will lead to abundance, because I see you coming into a more relaxed state, where things are just, man um, you know, slowly manifesting themselves towards you, whether you're manifesting these things or they're just things that you have, you know, been, that have been waiting to come to you, waiting for the right time to come into your life. These things are finally coming into your life, you know, lots of abundance surrounding you. And I feel like it could also have to do with this six of cups there could have been a lesson within the journey that the two of you guys had. And now that that's complete, there is a lot of abundance in other aspects of your life coming towards you as well. All right, so let's see. All right. So with the Emperor, we have the Knight of Swords. So this is, you know, I feel like your person is finally going to be taking action towards you. They're finally going to be moving towards you. This person is no longer going to be holding back. I feel like they're really going to be putting their all in. At one point, they could have been putting all their energy and effort into healing into their career. But I feel like it's time where this person is finally now focusing just as much as they used to on other things on you. It's like you are their sole focus now. Their mission is to, you know, to get back with you. Somebody has realized that all the money in the world won't bring them happiness. All the success in the world won't bring them happiness if you are not by their side. All right, Two of Pentacles. So we have the Six of Cups clarified with the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like, you know, your person is at this point, at the point in life where they're realizing that they can balance love and uh, their career. They can balance love and other things that they need to accomplish, but they, they are not willing to give up one or the other. They're not willing, especially you, they're definitely not willing to give up you and for some of you this person could realize that even if they do have doubts and fear that they need to overcome they would rather you know overcome those with you than you know ruin you guys because they haven't overcame those doubts and fears and for some of you that's your energy that is coming through there but um yeah so that is what we have i'm going to pull some oracles for you guys now so let's see what else can we get for the beautiful libras What else can we get for the beautiful Libras? Oh. So we have abundance. I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality. It's absolutely lots of energy of abundance. You guys are going to be manifesting a lot of great things. And then we have doubt. I release the need to know the answers. You know, allowing the universe to provide you with what is meant to be for you, not needing to know exactly what's going to happen or where you're going to go, but knowing that you will end up where you are meant to be. Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Definitely with the full energy, right? You're not so, you know, worried, right? I was going to say worried. You're not so worried. You're not so you know, fearful, you're just looking at the brighter side of life, um, and worry, I'm learning that worry doesn't change the outcome exactly, that's why you're, you know, embracing this full energy, because you're realizing that no matter what, you know, what's going to happen is going to happen, so, 
you know, the only thing that can make things better is if I don't worry and I don't stress, is if I just, you know, know that change is going to happen. We can't stop change and I just, you know, adapt as best as I can. So this is really great. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. If you would like a personal reading, my information will be in the description box below. Feel free to check out my website. And for those of you uh, that are not subscribed, feel free to subscribe. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next week, okay? Bye, my love.